Hello everyone from the internet and welcome to my video. Unfortunately for today, I have something to tell you. I am no longer supporting EA Star Wars games anymore. If you want to hear my reasoning, please continue by watching this video. So I started being a hardcore Star Wars fan since I was 13 years old due to Star Wars Battlefront 2 that came out in 2005. I have never watched any Star Wars movies before playing this video game or got any interest in them. But after falling madly in love with this video game, I got myself into the whole Star Wars universe and I madly fell in love ever since. Not long after Star Wars Battlefront 2015 came out, I was so happy to get into this universe once again when I was a teen and the game, unfortunately, Battlefront 2015 was horrible. I lived in a third world country and I didn't have Wi-Fi, so I was limited on what I could play offline. Firstly, this is the first Star Wars game that had no story. Imagine that a Star Wars game with no story. It's mind baffling when I think about it now. There was barely anything you can do offline, but at least they added skirmish mode after everyone played and had their money in with all the DLC and season pass. Secondly, the game cost 60 bucks initially when it came out, and the content that were on there were Walker Assault, Supremacy, and Turning Point, which you could play with 40 other players in the galaxy. And there were other modes such as Blasts, Fighter Squadron, Drop Zone, Cargo, and Droid Run. At first, you think that with all of these modes, there are surely going to be a lot of maps. Well, to give you a short answer, the answer will be no. Because there are only 4 maps, and it rotated only in these 4 maps. After a while, the game felt very repetitive and boring since there's barely anything engaging in it and it felt repetitive once again. Thirdly, this game intimidated you to buy a season pass to get new maps and weapons and it barely had anything impressive once you got the season pass. What made me mad is that how can they make you pay all that money initially to buy the game and have barely any content in there and the audacity for them to make you try to buy a season pass to get another DLC is the biggest scandal. And what annoys me the most is that there are more DLC content in Battlefront 2015 than the original game, which makes me feel really sad because it's obvious that the company is obviously profiting of Star Wars fan since there was a drought in Star Wars content for a very long time. Now moving on to Battlefront 2. This game initially was a nightmare, but EA redeemed themselves at the very end. So everyone knows that EA was once again playing with players' money. The microtransaction they added in the game where players could buy star cards and weapon without leveling up as normal people should, gave the upper hand to the player who bought it and made everyone else upset. Furthermore, EA finally added a story to Battlefront 2. But the problem is that it only lasted for 4 hours, and the story was boring as hell. The initial release of the game was also, once again, a scam, since there were barely new heroes, villains, and, last but not least, content in there. Don't get me wrong, I played Battlefront 2 on my channel, I really enjoyed the game. But EA, after fixing the game, 2 years later, with new heroes, maps, and modes such as Capital Supremacy, which was my favorite mode to play on Battlefront 2, attracted also other players to play Star Wars Battlefront 2, and it seemed like Star Wars Battlefront 2 was getting a brighter future. And unfortunately, EA just suddenly stopped putting future content for the game, which seemed very, very fishy to me and deceiving, because why do they stop supporting a game after more people are coming to play it. But honestly, I did enjoy Battlefront 2, but the problem is, once again, that it felt somehow repetitive after a while. On another note, Jedi Fallen Order is an amazing game. I will not complain on that. The characters, the story, the graphics of the game were top notch. I will give credit where it is due. Lastly, I haven't bought or will never buy J Star Wars Squadrons because this is only a first person game. The graphics looks very similar to Battlefront 2. The story in this game is very short, which you know, it is eventually going to be a very boring story. And they have made this game 
before the release of the PS5, like very shortly, which seems very sketchy since it feels like a quick grab money instead of a game where people will enjoy and adore in the future. I th I just think it will be super forgettable, just like Star Wars Battlefront 2 story. Unfortunately, all these manipulation EA is making on fans just to get money is obvious, so I will no longer be supporting them for any future Star Wars content.